Hey guys, what's up? I don't know why you can't see my name. The night armor is kind of blocking it. So today we're gonna be talking about if Guru has that, I guess, story mode. Yeah, story mode. Vine boom. <laughs> also, my upload schedule changed from uploading every day to uploading one day and streaming twice or once the next. So usually uploading, stream, uploading, stream, maybe stream in the same day as upload, but. So as you guys know, the basement update brought a lot of things along with this armor that's definitely real that I definitely spent shiny rocks on. So. Uh, a lot of things happened in this update, mainly being the weird lore. Now there is a lot of these, a lot of these weird gorilla paintings, but there's also this. These little monk guys, which produce some of the best lore ever. Not really, this game has like no lore though. So, there could be a story mode, right? An offline one, maybe, yeah, I guess you can play multiplayer online with it. Kind of like, you know the game, ra uh, rain No More Rainbows? It could be like that. But I have an idea. So. As you know, in you can supposed to use these cosmetics to shrink down, right? But what if there were levels, kind of like sub levels, part of world of maps? So let's say the first map would be here. You level one, you have to escape this maze. Now to escape it, you can either get to the end part, but that'll make you big. So what what it actually does is when you escape it, rather than making you big, it starts the story mode. So there's gonna be B1, basement one. Now from here when you escape, you'll come down to here where there will be little things marking the levels. So let's say your first level or your second level is up here. So you like pinch climb up this, you come up here as a tiny monkey, and then there's something. So let's say there's two monk eyes right here. And you have to get past them in order to get to the banana, which gets to the next level or something. Or some treasure that unlocks more. Maybe like a crystal. A shiny rock. Perfect. So when you got rid of it, when you juke them out and stuff, then you go get the shiny rock and you go to the next one. So it'll go to, let's say, basement two, where you'll go all the way up, he where you go into one of these bookcases and you have to get from here to up here without, there'll be like little staircases. So then you can beat people. So then you can beat the monk guys. You have to like go to the side of them. But then after that, there'll be a thing where you have to go up to the little parts up here that'll be basement three where you will have to where you will very simply have to escape and you have to go from this side to that side very easy but the monk guys there will be about ten of them but after that after three levels there will be a boss level where you'll go into a part much like you know those TikToks that people made where it's kind of like boss fight where it's, where it's like the gorilla up here like hold on where was it I don't remember where it was I think it was up here you guys remember the boss fight meme where there was like a monkey coming up here and you had to like what if it was that but what if it was a monk eye so this one would have monk eyes and there would be a mega monk eye but then you would get weapons or you would be able to pick up stuff and throw it at it so it would like knock down debris and you would be able to grab it so that would be world one. After that, this door would unlock up here with the crystal that you got from the boss. So like the, what's it called? Let's say the eye crystal, the big crystal. You would bring it up here and you would place it up here and then boom, it would unlock the next one. Or you'd have two eye crystals and you place it on those and then boom, you unlock the next area. All right, so city, this would be the hub where you can access a lot of the maps. Now around here, there would be little huts in place you could go. That would be like, reach a certain amount of levels beaten, or like secret coins. We're gonna put secret coins in levels that you can buy things with. So it's gonna be reach a certain amount of, beat a certain amount of worlds or levels to unlock this place. So these, let's say you can come in here. These you can buy with a few coins. Let's say there's 10 coins a level. These you can buy and they will give you like night vision or some sort of vision like that and other hats give you more like abilities not super OP ones like tiny ones like you move like 5% faster or something it's not gonna matter at all but so this one let's say this competitive course is beat six worlds to unlock where you have to go through a tough gauntlet to unlock a special cosmetic or every single one of these floors let's say to get to this floor to break this window this has beat like four worlds to unlock and then come up here and there's beat five like seven worlds there's seven worlds by the way so mountains will feature a plethora of levels 
four or five to be exact. So the first level will be the igloo. So it's mountains one. This igloo will feature a big boy, a snow roller that rolls, or that like rolls snowballs off at you and throws them. And if you get hit, then that like takes one of your hearts away. And let's say you get a new heart every single level. So let's say now you have two. So you don't just get one hit. So you're gonna have to run around. You're gonna have to grab one of these keys. There'll be keys here, and then bring it up here to over here to unlock the little wall or the little like barrier that protects him. And then you can go up there and like. Or you can also throw snowballs at him. So you're going to go up there and throw snowballs at him. These will also be monk eyes. So these will be mountain monk eyes, like white ones. You'll be tasked with going to this side. You'll be tasked with going down here. Now, on this cliff, you will have to do a nice slide. So there will be a little slide that you go. There will be a snow roller guy right here that chucks snow, and you'll have to use this to avoid him. And then you'll knock him out. So you literally just throw snowballs at him. Then you'll do a little, or you'll slide over here. There won't be a slant, so it'll be easier. And you come over here to beat him. Now from here, you're gonna actually, you're gonna go down here. But as you get here, a new snow roller will appear and start rolling a ball down this little hill. So you actually have to run down that big white spot there. So you have to come all the way up here you have to go up this slope where there will be many snowballs being thrown down at you from the snowball monk guys. These guys are evil. You have to run down this slide while there is a gigantic snow roller chasing you. So it'll be chucking snowballs, chasing you to run all the way down the slide. You can, you, there's no skits or anything. You have to go down the big slide too and run all the way to the edge. And then you'll get here, and finally you'll be able, you have to hit the target, get snowballs, and boom, it'll kill the monster. And then you'll unlock the the like ice protection or the cold protection. Now, because I can't rant on and on, well, not really rant of this amazing idea for for every map. Let's just say forest will be the last map. Once you've beaten everything, you'll unlock the main forest. There will be an easy way. You'll just have to walk around here to get to beach. There will be a secret part, a little like challenge. Or there will be a giant, like, well, there will be a ton of, like, rain you have to avoid. Or, like, a ton of, like, branches or something. But here's how it's going to work. So, for forest, the first level is going to be up here. The first level is going to be over here. Where you have to, and you'll have to make a shift of gear for every side. So, the first one's going to be in this corner. Where there will be... The, there will be a gigantic monster that hops down when we get over here and he'll go like this and you have to wall climb or like run up there will be a ton of platforms and he'll start like trying to eat you or something you're like poof, break it you have to wall climb all the way up and then when you get there you have to do go down and do like a charged punch like all the way up this so like this so you have to go up here flip the lever and then go down and do a charge punch and knock him down damn and after that the last corner is getting actually getting up to the stump so you'll have to climb all the way back up here this huge ramp while there's every type of enemy so snow rollers canyon ones that shoot lasers at you you'll have to climb up this get up on this light and then finally like get onto this and then finally you'll unlock the final boss the actual monkey and here's how it's gonna go he's gonna be huge he's gonna be like trying to beat you up so you're gonna have to run around forest, avoiding his like lasers and stuff, and finding weapons to hurt him. So let's say there will be like a sword that you can use that'll break after a couple hits. So like grab a sword. From this side, there will be like a the icicle on the other side as a weapon. There will be like everything to kill him, and eventually, after the entire boss fight, he'll be done. And boom, you have the entire boss fight done, and you are now champion. You will unlock a special cosmetic for actual gorilla attack for this. So that's good. And then you also get a badge for, you'll get a badge for completing this with like the monkey, dead monkey slain on it or something, I don't know. But once you're done that, you've beaten story mode. Now I personally think this idea with like separate levels for each map and you're really tiny is really good. And I feel like it could be go more, but they shouldn't plan on working on it now. At least until they're done finishing the recent updates because they don't need to revamp any more maps. I think they're all good. So yeah. 
if any modder is watching this, tell Lemming, give him an idea, you know, and uh, yeah, I didn't buy this, <laughs> I used Unity Explorer, 